Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. So today we're gonna to be going over Carrot, which is my pet hooligan's token uh, that just launched, which I think is actually gonna be potentially one of the biggest gaming cryptos this cycle. So if you guys are a fan of crypto gaming and updates like this, I would bring your attention early on. Consider sure to subscribe to the channel, like in the videos. Support means everything. So if we look at Carrot, we can see that you know Carrot Coin uh, again, which is the launch partner and the token behind my pet hooligan did just launch today april 22nd at the time of recording this video uh and they launched immediately on big exchanges like coinbase kucoin and gate.io so if we look here at coin market cap here and look at their listing we can see that carrot is currently trading at around a hundred million dollars in market cap now remember this token did just launch so expect high volatility as you should with any new token launch uh you know as we've seen it came out the gate on the you know public market here at about 80 cents, I mean, this thing climbed immediately up to over a dollar, and then now it's kind of just hanging around 80 to 80 cents to a dollar. So again, expect high volatility, but I mean, a lot of volume on this. A lot of people were excited about this coin. I mean, this is one that has been hyped up, you know, for a while now. They've been building all bear market. Uh, you know, again, launching on Gate.io, Coinbase, KuCoin, and obviously Uniswap, since it is on Ethereum right now. So you know, again, big exchanges. Uh, you know, there is a debate of if it would have been nice to have a maybe come later as a catalyst during the cycle, but nonetheless, it is very easy to get your hands on. If you're not familiar with what My Pet Hooligan is, well, this is a project that is building, uh, I think, alongside, or a, they were one of the first projects that is uh, in being incubated, uh, being built underneath or in the ecosystem of Superverse, uh, you know, what used to be Super Farm, which is Elio Trades uh, project, which again is also we've covered it in this channel uh you know in the past but is also a gaming titan in the space so you know another reason to be bullish there but if you look at the quality here but you know behind my pit hooligan it just looks like it really could be one of the funnest games in you know all of crypto gaming and again one of the most polished uh honestly you know people bought their nfts or hooli nfts years ago you know been holding it uh we can see here that you know they have a partnership it looks like maybe with prime gaming here as well we can get like some cosmetics uh, i mean again so many bullish things here to be you know uh to be up to date with and if you look here you can actually put on like a wish list for my pet hooligan as a c right up here you can download it on epic games maybe try it out so i mean this is a quality right now that you can expect uh you know i've, I've gotten some comments you know at, every time we talk about my pet hooligan about you know some people don't like how the rabbits look some people do i think it looks pretty cool actually i think it looks very very fun and again as far as quality you have to remember quality this game is i mean i i don't know if there is another game in the crypto gaming space that is on the you know the level of quality uh, of, of this as far as like it, again in this you know genre of game style uh, i mean obviously it's not made to be like an ultra realistic you know graphics wise game it's just not that kind of game style so you know, don't expect that uh, but you can see it's kind of like an open uh you know multiplayer game again if we're looking at it here it says you know Re rebel against the evil overworld meta zuck bot i don't know if that's supposed to be a play on like zuckerberg with meta. i don't know uh it might be a stretch by wrecking havoc on hooli Hooli land city fight each other destroy stuff skateboard like a pro skater graffiti the buildings or just hang out with friends playing the way is what it means to be a hooligan so again that's kind of what they say here uh, as well and you can get obviously different packs for the game and you know if we look here this is also their trailer uh you know the amgi team studios is behind my pet hooligan i think they're based out of california uh, i want to say here uh, if i remember right I don't know why that's not loading, but you know, if we go here about again, AMGI is committed to unlock the potential of cutting edge technology with my pet hooligan, uh, which again allows you to pilot your avatars in real life using engage with AI driven characters. So, you know, immediately we're already seeing that, you know, they might be touching on not only gaming narrative, but also the AI narrative with their, you know, avatars here that people can use. We see that they have a few products under their belt uh, that's coming here soon, but obviously my pet hooligan I think is their main one that they're primarily primarily focus on focusing on right now uh so again they have the different game modes so they have coin apocalypse which you know how many hooligans can you wipe out for a hunt in a hunt for coins so almost like a you know just like a battle royale just we're just up you know fighting against each other you know each hooligan starts with coins and drops them when they get eliminated whoever collects the most coins within the time limit will be crowned the winner then they have anarchy which is a free-for-all shootout 
Uh, you know, so the hooligan with the most elimination wins in Anarchy, so it's like a free-for-all pretty much. Uh, and again, really look at the gameplay here in the background and realize the quality of it and then hang out. So, you know, for the more affordable hooligan, we offer a hangout zone, which is kind of just like a free open world environment. People can you can just walk around, you know, practice your, you know, skateboarding tricks. You can attack people. It's almost like just a sandbox open world, you know, kind of just hanging out essentially is what they say. So, you know, multiple different modes there. Uh, and again... The quality here is one that I really want to focus on because, I mean, look at it. Yeah, and you can understand quickly why some people are saying that this could be one of the, you know, uh, biggest gaming projects in the gaming ecosystem. Especially when, again, some of the biggest narratives this cycle are going to be gaming and AI. They've already proven themselves to be so, you know, early on in this cycle. As we saw, gaming at the end of last year and AI at the beginning of this year. So, again, two of the strongest narratives I strongly believe and I think, you know, Given the track record, it's probably just how it's going to go down. Then maybe, obviously, RWA might could be a third if you want to put that there. Uh, but you know, the fact that this is crossing two narratives, which we've seen work with other projects like Echelon Prime, you know, with their AI colony game. You know, look at that project that's sitting at you know, I think almost a half a billion right now, give or take a hundred million. Uh, so you know, projects like this that cross the hot narratives and that are on a quality level work. You know, it, it's true. So, you know, our goal to accelerate the evolution of gaming, entertainment, and AI-driven experiences with blockchain technology in a truly empowered community. So they they have their approach here, which the Carrot Protocol pioneers a decentralized framework in gaming and entertainment, combining blockchain uh, community-driven collaborations. Carrot can animate ecosystems of games and products, and the protocol makes tools available. So, again, there's a little bit more of, like, governance and stuff. With that, we see the, uh, you know, the token allocation here we'll go into vesting here in the future since it just did just launch uh you know we'll go into you know maybe crypto rank uh, on a future video of you know the carrot token but you know we can look at their white paper here you know it says it's a governance token you know behind the carrot foundation which again is also including my pet hooligan you know it's a hundred or a billion in supply you know actors contributors utility uh as well and if we look you know this says govern incentivize utility you know pretty usual there uh, if we look at the carrot cake, or again, the carrot, uh, you know, tokenomics chart here, allocation. So again, it says community foundation is 50%, including the airdrop claims, which 5% gets unlocked for at TGE for the, again, NFT holders, the Huli holders, and then 1% after 12 months for NFT holders, then 30% goes to on-chain governance, 14% treasury, and then early contributors, uh, and then team partners, developments, or like, you know, seed rounds, investing rounds, uh, you know, stuff like that, uh, strategic rounds. If we look at vesting, this is one thing you do want to really pay attention to because, you know, if we look, go back to the token here, we see, you know, it's about $115 million in circulating market cap here. But if we look at the fully diluted, it's almost a billion. But, so, you know, looking at maybe a 9 to 10x in dilution, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, especially when we look at the fact that team and advisors are subject to a four-year lockup with the first unlock happening after one year and then monthly unlocks for remaining three years. So right there already, we're looking at the team and advisors. So that's about, what, 15% of the ecosystem is on a one-year cliff. Not a whole lot to worry about. And then monthly unlocks for 36 months. You know, nothing crazy there. Early contributors, again, are on a 2.5-year lockup with the first unlock happening six months after the TGE. Uh, and then, you know, again, so six month cliff there with a 2.5 uh, year uh, unlocking schedule, vesting schedule. So nothing, again, too crazy there. Uh, early, oh, uh, you know, development tokens or up to a 4.5 year lockup with an unlock 3% for development happening at the TGE and the remainder after six months for up to four years. Uh, again, nothing crazy there. And then airdrop, there isn't going to be an airdrop, obviously, for people who I believe had the NFT, the Hoolies. Uh, NFT for the My Pet Hooligan, and then also who had staked it uh, as well. So if you did do that, please pay or please claim your carrot. And then as such, uh, there will be a claim for day one. You can check your eligibility on the carrot website. There's going to be 60 million uh, tokens available for this claim, of which on TGE, 10 million will be claimable across uh, all the you know My Pet Hooligan NFTs. And then also on TGE, Half of it, 40 million, or about two thirds, 40 million will be claimable subject to the metadata attached to the NFTs. And then the remaining 10 million will be claimable across uh, the NFTs across 12 months. So, again, it is uh, also, they also make note that these tokens, the 60 million, will not be circulating or votable until claimed. 
So again, when we're looking at the, you know, kind of the unlock and lockup periods, you know, one thing that's different about, and I say this before in other projects from the last cycle to this cycle, you know, cycle projects saw in the last bull run that you have to do, you know, they can look at projects that launched the last bull and they have newer projects have to, you know, change their tokenomic and their vesting schedules to more longer, you know, multi-year, you know, fledged out vesting schedules or else early investors, uh, you know, team and stuff, they're just going to dump early on. So that's why you just see charts that just go top and then go down and then flat line. So uh, projects are learning this time around. So, you know, again, I wouldn't be too worried about the dilution here, uh, at least in the short term, short to midterm, but we'll see. Uh, again, there is people who's going to be claiming their airdrops, uh, but again, don't be discouraged too much in my opinion, but as always, nothing I say here is financial advice, but I am extremely bullish on my pet hooligan. Definitely one that I'm going to be taking a position on full disclosure uh, and one that I've been excited for really all bear market, you know, leading up to this event. You know, I know there was a little bit of not FUD, but some miscommunication about, you know, the carrot token launching, I think over the weekend or, uh, or, you know, last week, but it hadn't been the case. And the Carrot Foundation had made an announcement on their Twitter anyways, saying as such. But again, the fact they have, you know, Coinbase day one, I think is very, very bullish. Uh, and I, again, when we look into their white paper, which some people might not tell you, again, about their lockup periods and their cliffs for all the different allocations within their token, the Carrot token. Again, I'm not as worried about the dilution as maybe some others might tell you. Just do your own research as always before, you know getting away from a project or going into it either way you should always do your <clears throat> sorry you should always do your own research but let me know guys in the comments below what do you think of my pet hooligan do you see this as one of the top gaming projects of the cycle is this not one that you're really you know betting on again you guys know my stance if you've been around or if you just watched the whole video you know that i'm very bullish on it i will be taking a position uh you know and, and one thing i'll you know close out on is i think you know carry token it's hard to say. Again, it's a new token launch, uh, you know, and there's not a whole lot of selling pressure, I think, at the beginning, given the lockups and the cliffs for the different rounds and, uh, you know, allocations. But, you know, we've seen stuff like Mavia. Here's a Mavia. They launch, and then they had a bunch of positive price action. And we've seen other tokens re recently launch and then immediately have negative price action. So it's hard to tell with these new uh, token launches. So I would definitely give it a little bit of time, uh, you know, maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks, depending on what happens here. But study it if it's one that you're thinking about getting a position in on but i would definitely study carrot again watch the price action it could go either way expect high volatility especially since again it launched literally today at the time of recording this video and if you guys got value out of this video or if you you know like these videos you know if you get value out of these consider subscribing to the channel and if, otherwise if you guys can like the video comment subscribe and share the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right see you guys